Uh, yes, um, you know, I think the first thing is um, how excited this time of year your college basketball fan is. And there, there's nothing more exciting in my mind than, than the NCAA tournament, but also a mid-major basketball tournament where uh, there's only going to be one team advancing and one team going to the NCAA tournament. So the excitement, the pressure, uh, the thrill of advancing and everything else is um, it's great. So uh, we're really excited. Um, you know, we're, we're happy to have a double buy and, and being able to kind of get a feel for the tournament and work on some things that we need to work on this week. And and um, and then we get to Saturday and hopefully we play our best game of the year. That's definitely our goal. Thank you, Coach. As a reminder to our members of the media, it is star one to get in the queue to ask questions. Again, star one to ask questions. Uh, our first questions come from Randy with the Sunbelt Digital Network. Uh, Randy, please go ahead. Hey, Coach. How you doing? Good, Randy. Um, I, you mentioned the double buy. Specifically, what for you? What's going to be the key um, to having a few extra days to work on things? What what's kind of what are what's the mindset and um, what's the plan for practicing wise before you head down to New Orleans? Well, we're actually practicing right now, and I, this is the first day in probably a couple months that we've actually just worked on Georgia Southern and didn't have to worry about an opponent. And and so today we're working on skill development, some things that we saw in the last couple of weeks that we feel like we need to fix as a staff and as a team before playing a tournament game. And, and then we'll start moving towards, you know, potential opponents that we might play later on in the week. But it's a great opportunity for us to worry about us, uh, for us to get better. And then also, you know, we're not as deep as we were even two weeks ago. We lost a starter, our starting four-man, who um, one of our best rebounders and a great energy and toughness guy. So we lost him. So having a double buy and not having to play three or four games, I think the advantage when you don't we only get seven or eight deep. And I know you said you you know you you'll start worrying about an opponent later, but what what um what were your thoughts on how the bracket shook out for you guys? You know, being the number two seed and being on the side with you know UL Monroe, South Alabama, and um, the other team UALR or yeah UALR. Well, you know what? It's, it's just you gotta you know take them as they come, and um, you know I don't think you you're you're hoping for a particular matchup. You know we're in a we're in a situation where uh, we, you know we, we've beaten a lot of teams in the league. The only team that we did not beat all year is not in the tournament. Um, so uh, the team we struggled with was Troy, and you know so we know the potential of we can win every game, and we know the potential that we can lose every game. So. Um, it's just a, a tournament philosophy of, of taking whoever comes, trying to play your best basketball, trying to play tournament basketball, which in our minds is, is playing great defense and limiting our turnovers and rebounding. So if we do those things, hopefully we'll be okay against any opponent. And, you know, but we know they're all going to be tough. So whether we're on one side of the bracket or another, I mean, we weren't cheering for anything except for the double bye, honestly. All right, thanks, Coach. Appreciate your time. All right, thank you. Thank you, uh, Randy, and uh, and thank you, Coach. Uh, we appreciate you joining us. As a reminder, Georgia Southern's first game will be uh, Saturday at 3.30 p.m. Central Time on ESPN3. Thank you very much, Coach. All right, thank you. Thank you. If everyone can stand by, we'll place you on hold. We'll have Ron Hunter of uh, Georgia State on shortly. Please stand by. 